Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with another reading. And this reading is Their True Intentions in Love. And this is going to be for March. This is going to be uh, maybe the first of a few of these, right? Because I put out several videos every month. And I hope you guys are well. These are general, so they may or may not resonate, right? And these energies can be yours or that of your persons. Okay, Taurus, so let's get started for the ever strong earth sign Taurus right now though you are in the nine of wands energy okay but that's okay we can rectify that remedy that seven of pentacles showing up high priestess in the reverse your person is the lovers it could be a Gemini four of wands in the reverse the fool card and the devil card in the reverse okay and the past dynamic is the hermit Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords in the reverse. For me, somebody is overwhelmed, possibly, because somebody is rebuilding with somebody else. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, though, because that might not be the case. The, we just started the reading, right? That's kind of like saying, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to operate on your uh, aorta here and... Uh, to fix this one part and not not uh, consider anything else, okay? And you're just going to be cured. <laughs> Let's get some cards from the Little Lenormans, or as I like to call them. They are the little cards with powerful messages. I feel like they are. Show me the energy for Taurus in love, please, in the month of March. This could be for now. This could be now, though. It could be because these ti the timing here can... Uh, the timing is fluid here, so please don't try to... Uh, Gauge the time, all right? Unless you are a numerologist yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of these energies can go out to six months, eight months. Yeah, they can. Okay, so let's see what we got here. The fox. There is somebody deceptive here. Yes, there is. This could be you, Taurus. Wow. There could be... Uh, wow. So we have a lot of deception here, right? It's there could, the mask and the fox. Okay, so this is a confirmation here. There is no doubt, okay? Uh, there's no doubt. Uh, yeah, no, there's not. In, uh, God's blue sky here that somebody is <laughs> somebody is a liar or a cheater here. Uh-huh. And somebody has a wish here, though. Maybe that's why they are being such a liar, right? They're like, wow, I can't, you know, I can't resist Taurus, maybe. Or maybe Taurus, you can't resist somebody else. But somebody does not want to bear the cross anymore. They're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore, right? And this could be going on. This could, uh, it could be like a recurring thing, right? The ring can be, it can be a, uh, a commitment. Maybe there is a commitment here, but the ring is not next to any nice card. No, it is not. It's next to the cross and the fox. And they are both challenging cards, so this could really mean that I feel like this is saying that there's there's been deception like round and round, right? Kind of like a never-ending story. And this is why somebody doesn't want to bear the cross anymore. They're like, why should I do this anymore? Good God, right? And the bridge is here. It can talk about somebody, you know, this can talk about maybe that there is deception here and that is kind of bridging, a, bridging like not even bridging a gap, but creating a gap between you and your person, the bridge, right? It could be. But the bridge can be also, uh, it can be kind of like you have to do something to in order to get what you need, right? In or, you have to cross that bridge. But at the other side of the bridge, Taurus, is like the prize, all right? And no, the troll is not there, uh, right? Like we learned when we were kids. But these are this bridge is super challenging, right? This is no... This is not any bridge, right? And in, in fact, there's another bridge over there that's even higher. So, <laughs> and uh, it is above. I feel like there's all these ravines and kind of uh, cliffs, all kind of stuff here that, uh, yeah, surrounding these this bridge here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like it's built on anything really solid here, right? It could be slip side slip sliding. Mm -hmm. But. Let's get into the reading, nevertheless, okay? Because I don't know why today um, I am kind of taking a long time on these readings. And uh, let's see why, uh, Taurus, you are in the Nine of Wands. You're looking right at the mask. So this is you. You're dealing with somebody who is sneaky, most likely. Why is that Nine of Wands there for Taurus? Yeah. You could be rebuilding with somebody else, right? Mm-hmm. 
And that could be like an obstacle. And this is why, this could be like an obstacle, the bridge, right? And this is why there is deception on both sides of the bridge, right? This is like blocking your union and right above is the cross. You're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, no, let me, let me move on, right? Let me go... Let me go over here with my pentacle, right? Where I can kind of uh, find myself some comfort here. <laughs> okay, two of cups in the reverse and the page of pentacles. This is your reading here. This is like a breakup here. Like you're the wounded warrior here because somebody else has a new start. This couldn't be any more clear. Just got these new cards over here. And, you know, I like the artwork, but it's the, the images are small. You guys can't really see them either. No, you can't. A lot of readers use them, right? A lot of readers don't even show the cards hardly. But I like the bigger images. Oh, well. <laughs> Why is that seven of pentacles there? This is crossing you, right, uh, Taurus? This is crossing you. Yeah, you're thinking about this. You are evaluating it. Yes, you are. And let's see. Hierophant, this is probably you because you rule that card. Knight of Cups, you're just evaluating a situation where somebody's offering their cup. Yes, they are. They're offering their cup of... Uh, of like lies, right? Yeah, I feel like they are. And the high priestess is in the reverse. This is why it's all happening. Why is our high priestess there? This could be a secret or it could be a water sign who is, you know, queen of cups. Yes, it is most likely a water sign. Mm-hmm. King of pentacles. This is probably you. Wow. You could be dealing with a water sign here who like has the secret or, or they have a water sign who is a secret. And in your desired position here, uh, Taurus, is the Ace of Wands. Why does Taurus want the Ace of Wands? And there could be a Virgo in here, right? But I mean, I know that you are in the Hermit mode somewhat. The Seven of Pentacles is, you know, similar, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the Hermit kind of gets... Uh, the Hermit will just hang out. And it's it's a little bit healing, too. But it is like trying to really uncover the truth, right? And let's get a card of the Ace of Wands. This is for Taurus, Queen of Wands. Okay, Taurus, this is, yeah. So I feel like you could be dealing with uh, a water sign, and there could be a third party, Queen of Wands, little hussy. Just kidding, I am the Queen of Wands too. <laughs> but this Queen of Wands, uh, Aries Leo or Sag, the Justice card, wow, it could be a Libra here, maybe. Not really seeing it like that. Page of Swords in the reverse. I feel like, you know, this is what this is like in your desired position. I feel like you want justice here or you want balance maybe, but I feel like you have already figured out here. Yes, this is why you are the wounded warrior. You have pretty much like right now you are in analysis, you are wounded, but you're kind of analyzing the situation. But you have figured out that somebody has this Ace of Wands with somebody else. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. They're trying to have their their wishing well. This is like the Ace of Wands, the wishing well, right? Mm -hmm. And you have figured that out. And this could possibly be you, like, you know, doing this, but I'm not really seeing that. Your person is in the lover's energy. Why, why do they have the lover's? I feel like this is you, Taurus, with the cross. I don't want to bear the cross anymore, okay? I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, let me just remove myself from uh, all this drama. Lover's card, Five of Cups. This is your person, the Star card. Okay, well, they could be regretting it here. Mm -hmm. Regretting having a wish, something like that. Could be Aquarian here, Queen of Swords. I feel like your person is in this energy where they could be regretting. Yeah, they could be. They could be regretting their choice to kind of like go off with some wish. Let's find out. Let's keep going here. Why is that four of wands in the reverse for Taurus, please? Taurus is person, I beg your pardon. Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Wands is here. There could be a Sag. I feel like I saw a Sag in your reading last time. Three of Cups. Doesn't have to be Sag. This can be fated events, right? Or change. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Or having the wheel turn. Wanting the wheel to turn in your favor. Uh, this is, for me, your person could be regretting a decision here about a third party. Yeah, I feel like that's what they are doing. And 
In the root, why it's all happening is a fool for them. Why is that fool there, please? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. This is not wanting to put the effort in like a breakup. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Swords. This is why it's all happening for them. Uh, I feel like what this is, is they made a decision to take a leap of faith and not put the work in, right? Not put any effort maybe into union with you. Uh, it's going to depend here, right, of course, because they're generals. And really, the, we find out over on Vimeo where the tell-all lives. Mm -hmm, that is where the tell-all lives. And let's see what else we can glean here. Let's get one more card. Why, why is the King of Swords in the root for them? For Taurus's this person. There could be a Libra here, right? King of Swords, Justice, and maybe Aquarian. Mm -hmm. I do see a lot of air energy here. Queen of Pentacles. Kind of really not clear here who is doing what here. I feel like, Taurus, your person had a third party here. That's what I think. I feel like they had a third party. Uh, and you kind of figured it all out, yes. That they wanted a new beginning with a Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm, who probably is a Sag. And, yes, and you could just be, your person is over here regretting that choice they made. I feel like they are. And what they want is the devil in the reverse. Devil in the blue suede shoes. Why do they want the devil in the reverse? They want to be released from bondage. That's what they want because they're in this five of cups regret. Yeah, they're living in regret. And the devil can be regret. Oh, heck yeah, right? Oh, heck yeah. And yeah. Okay, see, Knight of Swords, the moon card. I feel like there's a queen of cups here. She's showing up in the roof for you. Right next to you, King of Pentacles. High Priestess in the reverse. There could be a water sign here very easily for some. Of course, the moon is here. And what they want is they want to rush in here. They want, I feel like they want to release themselves from some kind of bondage or... Yes. And let's see, the moon card. What do they want, the moon? Yeah, I feel like your person wants to kind of like cut out the regret, like take themselves out of that energy. It's a little too late for that. Why is that moon there? Why do they desire the moon? They could be a Cancerian or a Piscean, two of wands. I feel like they want to kind of rid themselves from regret here about like choosing, yeah, about being deceptive. This is what I think here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find out on Vimeo, Taurus. Uh, yeah, we are. We're gonna get the under. We're gonna get the underlying energies over there, and find out how they really feel about you, right? The blocks or the challenges between you guys, what they could be hiding, or maybe just what you don't know, and what they're fearing and their true intentions. In the tell-all over on Vimeo Street, you guys, and all those extenders are super affordable. Yes, they are. And if you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. And the best way, right, is to get your own reading. Thank you so much.